threat to Palm Beach County, Florida. Schools closed early today, and officials have canceled classes tomorrow. Although Sandy isn't expected to make landfall in Florida, they will feel effects like gusty winds, rainfall, and thunderstorms. And hello, welcome back to Day Planner. We continue to track Hurricane Sandy, now just shy of a Category 3 hurricane. Now, the storm is racing toward the Bahamas, but its effects are already being felt along the Florida coast. Our coverage of Hurricane Sandy continues with meteorologists Mike Seidel and Jim Cantori in Singer Island, Florida, and our team of experts here in the studio. And with the latest on Sandy, here's Vivian. Yeah, as of the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, the winds are still up to 105 miles an hour. Let's show you the very latest as it moves north at about 18 miles an hour. So it's moved, well, 16 miles an hour. So it's moving fairly quickly. Over the last uh, 24 hours, it moved through Jamaica. Jamaica and then the eastern tip of Cuba now making its way into the southwestern Atlantic. We begin our team coverage now with our hurricane specialist Carl Parker. Carl, what can Florida expect from this system? Well, this is primarily going to be a coastal affair in Florida. We're going to see very gusty wind over the next couple of days up and down the east coast of Florida and that is certainly going to kick up the waves and uh, bring up the water level a little bit and uh, also create some beach erosion in many areas along the east coast. Right now we're watching a 105 mile per hour storm moving north at 16 miles per hour. Here's a look at the high resolution satellite imagery that we can only see uh, during the daytime. And you can see this banding that continues to come up and across Haiti. That is not good. We've had rain there solidly for more than 24 hours and even more rain coming down now. And the core of the storm is now right there. You can see the big burst of thunderstorms that really is starting to uh, get more organized now that it's come off the coast of Cuba and moving into the southernmost islands in the Bahamas, Long Island, in for some of the worst weather here, as well as a Great Eczema, and then also Cat Island right there as the storm continues northward. And on the periphery of the storm, we are getting some effects, some rain, and some stronger storms moving in with winds generally gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour. That is going to continue out of the northeast today. Winds increasing a bit tonight, and then tomorrow as the storm passes by to the east, the area of strongest winds will extend from the central Florida east coast. Coast, uh, the Space Coast, down through Martin, St. Lucie counties, and down into West Palm Beach. Winds gusting to 50 miles per hour there, and maybe a bit stronger, especially in thunderstorms. And then on Saturday, still strong wind in the northern part of the state, but the wind begins to settle down in South Florida. Now, where is the storm going to go? We think it will continue off to the north initially and then turn to the northeast. There's a fair amount of model agreement about that fact. Then it makes this rather unusual turn to the left, and the models uh, generally are beginning to hone in on a northeast landfall. Now, exactly where will make a big difference. If, for example, the storm were to move in on the far right-hand side of the cone, while we would see a lot of wind in many parts of the northeast, the very worst of the weather would come into Maine, whereas if it were to come in, for example, near the Delaware Bay, then you'd have a tremendous area that would be impacted by high wind. Uh, a lot of the trees still have their leaves, so we'd see huge power outages, maybe tens of millions of people without power, and then you'd also see a tremendous water level rise, a big push of water to the coast, very high wave action, uh, major beach erosion. This would be one of the greatest storms in American uh, history were this to occur exactly the way that some of the models are suggesting that it could. Uh, and right now we're just waiting to see exactly uh, what's going to happen as we see more of these models come in. So let's take a look at what's going on in Florida now. Go to Mike Seidel. He's been covering the storm in Singer Island. And uh, Mike, those waves continue to come up there. Yeah, we've got the wave action. We've had some wind, a little bit of rain. Let's bring in Sherry Smith, the general manager here of the resort, uh, the Palm Beach Shores Resort, where we're staying, and we appreciate the hospitality. But you've been here a long time. You've been through Wilma, Francis, Jean, a whole list of uh, hurricanes. Uh, what was the worst one you went through here at the resort? At the resort, the worst was Wilma. Wilma was by far the worst. It came from the west, and we weren't expecting to get the damage or the conditions that we did receive on, on, the, on the beach. 
And how much uh, damage did you get? How long were you sh uh, closed for business? We were actually closed for business six weeks. We wow. sustained quite a bit of damage. And when it came from the West Coast, since there was no storm surge in, uh, anticipated, we were not evacuated. So we had a house full of guests, and um, we lost our power and our air conditioning system and some roof damage, and uh, we were closed for six weeks. And you also told me there was a tornado just up the street? Just across the street there was a tornado. And then, amazingly, as soon as the storm was over, the temperature dropped to about 50 degrees. Well, I know. I was down in the, in the Keys, and, and the next day it was beautiful, that northwest wind. Yes. Now, as far as preps today? Preps today, we're, we feel very blessed that uh, Sandy's staying off the coast. Uh, we're just moving some furniture in off the balconies, uh, moving the pool chairs in. So just looking for the safety of the guests. People are kind of excited to be involved in a tropical system. But we're just hoping for the best of our friends in the Caribbean. And, and as she goes by, we'll wave. and glad she's not stopping here. Excellent. <laughs> How about some specials? Are you going to have uh, bar specials at the Cabana? <laughs> Hurricane specials? Uh, uh, Mike Seidel special. Oh, how about Cantori specials? Oh, I guess later. you got to have some Cantori specials. Okay, there you go. we got Sherry Smith, who's been through them all, including Wilma, the worst, she says, and they're not overly concerned about this one. Heather, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Mike. We're going to check in with you again. And once again, we also want to take a look at the impacts that we are watching for the Northeast. And here they are. We're going to be watching these as they 